All right, so I'm gonna create a basic shape for this neon sign right here for O'Connor House of Smoke. But before that, I wanna talk about sharp points. I'm gonna to go to my modeling toolkit and I'm gonna to go to a orthographic view. All right, I'm gonna change the color of the background so you can see this better. I'm gonna do this on a black background. If I was to create, for example, this shape right here, and this is gonna to come to a point, and I'm gonna move shift between four of these dots to create my polygons like so. If I was to hit three right now on this object, you will notice that our point is going to disappear. Now, if we treat this the same way that we treat a cube when we reinforce the edges, and let me create a cube real quick. Notice that when we hit three, we get the smooth preview. And if we want to keep these sharp edges, what we have to do is right mouse button edges, select any edge, and then shift right mouse button so we get the edge tools. And we have to go to the insert edge loop. By doing this, we can go to this corner right here and I can reinforce it. I'm going to get out of component mode and go to object mode. And when I hit three, notice that we get a sharp edge right here. The closer these edges that I've created right here, and I'm going to double click to select the loop. And then with the move tool, I'm going to move it as close as I can to the corner before it starts going on the opposite side. Let me hit one. And the closer I get to that corner, the sharper my edge is going to go, as you can see. If I go to a subatomic level, bring these guys in further and further and further, my corner is going to be extremely sharp. Up to a point, however, because this fencing technique that we use for this corner does not have any additional supporting edges behind it. So these guys right here have to take care of all this space right here. So let me go to object mode. We'll hit three. And even though the edges are sharper than before, still we have a lot of space that it's not supported. So we would have to add additional support edges to reinforce this fence corner right here. But what I want you to look at is this corner. I'm going to select these vertices and hit F so we can zoom in really close. And I want you to start thinking of these sharp points and how they are fenced as if they were a cube. So I'm gonna go back to our poly shape we created. Here we are. And again, think of this point right here, the sharp point that you're trying to create as the corner of the cube. So if I was to hit three, notice of the curvature right here. However, if I go to edges and I insert a couple of edge loops, one here and one on the other side, by going shift, right mouse button, insert edge loop, you will notice that our edge becomes very, very sharp. So again, I'm treating this right here, if I zoom in very close, as the corner of a cube. Same concept. So now let's get out of here and go back to our image plane. And again, we're gonna use the modeling toolkit. I'm gonna go to quad draw, and I'm gonna start laying out my, my basic shapes. I'm gonna go here in this corner, and then I'm gonna go to this corner right here. We don't have to be 100% precise because we are going to cut this into pieces, move the cursor in the middle, hold shift for the preview, click on it, and there you have it. So to split this in half, we're gonna use the control key. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna click here, and I'm looking at the bottom piece rather than the top piece, because the top piece, I'm going to move all those little guys right there like so. And here's gonna be my corner. Here's gonna be my corner. I can quickly zoom in, make sure that all these edges are in the correct place. And you will notice that if I was to hit three right now, that our geometry is not going to be the best thing in the world, and that is because these primary shapes are too big. And let me demonstrate that by hitting three. Notice that we get this gigantic curvature. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get this centerpiece to be very sharp and how to add more geometry right here so we can control this curvature. From here, 
we are going to control this corner here and this corner here and then we'll work on these curvatures right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay out my edges and i'm going to speed up the video and i will narrate the video so you can see my thought process while i was building this so here we go okay i'm using the control key to add those extra edges i'm not worried about the bottom Again, I go into smooth preview and look what I do to the corner. I think of that corner, that sharp point that we keep talking about as the corner of a cube. And then what I do is I manually move all those vertices around. Okay, now I'm extruding with the Alt key and the middle mouse button so I can extrude the entire edge loop. Notice that that cross in the middle, both vertically and horizontally, has too many edges. So I'm beginning to delete all that extra geometry and I'm spreading my edges apart. I'm going to spread those three edges that I have in the middle and deleting the extra geometry. And if you look at it, I'm going from two edges to one because those two triangles in the bottom are not triangles, they're actually quads. One, two, three, four edges, a quad. So it's a very easy process. Again, always reinforcing those points. Move the vertices, go to three, make sure that in the smooth preview, everything looks fine. Here, I rebuild the geometry in the middle by adding points and then holding the shift key between those points until I can create quads. Alt, middle mouse, I drag the entire edge loop, as you can see, and then I individually move those points in smooth preview. You cannot see where you're gonna get at the end unless you go to smooth preview. And as soon as you move one point, you have to double check on the adjacent points, left, right, top, and bottom. Now, when I get to this corner, notice that our shield is going to connect to a square. So that's going to be a very interesting connection. Again, always double checking my edge, my border edge, because once you move one point, all the other points get weird. Now, this is going to be an interesting point. I'm going to extrude two more face rows, always double checking my vertices and what you want to do is you want to distribute your vertices so that all your edges have the same distance as much as possible it's going to get to a point where you cannot but the closer the edges are the sharper that corner is going to be or the edge is going to be we take advantage of that to make our points sharp but in areas that we don't want that to happen we have to spread those vertices so that the distances are equal. Now I'm extruding individual faces. Here I'm going to rebuild the square, but then I realize that those shapes are too big. So I'm gonna add additional polygon faces. And when I do this, everything looks fine until I get to the middle. And that's when I realize that I need an extra set of polygon faces. Always, always, always redistribute your vertices. Now let's tackle that point at the bottom. I'm using the multi-cut tool. I ended up doing this manually by adding an edge from one edge to another edge. And again, you always have to move these guys, constantly move them around. Now it's time to redistribute those edges. And the game is to end up with quads at all times, right? You can do these triangles, but then at the end of the day, you have to delete these to make quads. Everything is quads. I always, always count my edges. I always go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like this. Now I notice that the bottom left side of the sharp point, it's too spread apart. So I added another edge loop. I went from one corner to another corner and always making sure that I have quads. I always look at my vertices and I count my edges. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then I go to one. I get out of smooth preview to make sure that my edges flow smoothly. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to take care of those corners.